bounce in a little too long. Look at Wiggins sky for the board and flush it down. Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we have the first signature shoes of Andrew Wiggins by the Chinese brand Peak. A lot of cool features on this shoe, including a set of two different drop-in missiles. And this right here is the AW1 Switch. So before we even talk about anything, I gotta warn you about the weird sizing. Uh, for the right fit, you need to go down a full size from your true size, or normal Nike size, let's say. Uh, so I usually wear a size 10 and a half, and in these, I got a nine and a half, and they fit me perfectly. Yeah, I've been wearing peak basketball shoes since their Ronard Test and Shane Battier days, and it's been more than a decade. They still can't figure out the proper sizing, or maybe at this point, they just simply don't care anymore. Their official retail price in China, converted to USD, is about $130. Again, unfortunately, I just had to pay a lot for international shipping. Uh, there is also a regular version of the same shoe, where everything is built in without the drop-in missile feature that goes for a little bit cheaper. Anyways, I do have to say that these guys have amazing performance on the court. Uh, they will take some time to fully break in, but once you break them in, uh, they are a fantastic shoe to play in. Uh, you know we never waste any time on this channel. Let's get right into some details on the Andrew Wiggins one. The brand put quite some effort into the packaging and presentation. They come in a big and heavy, uh, almost like a gift box in white and gold. First thing you see after taking off the lid is the extra set of drop-in missiles in the bag. One is what they call the P pop-up for extra responsiveness. And the other is also for extra responsiveness uh, with the Tai Chi technology. Because both sets are included and they are the same weight and thickness, I won't spend too much time on that. The shoe itself, I would consider as a low top. The upper is mostly a mixture of TPU netting and textile materials. Feels in the toe box, feels a little bit plasticky in hand, but it is breathable and pretty soft in general. This pair has a translucent also, and the traction pattern is made up of blocks of squares with the Andrew Wiggins logo all over. There is a mid for shank plate, and on the medial side, you can see a string there. So this is for switching the drop-in missiles. Once you pull the string, it spreads out the collar area and kind of lifts up the bottom for you to take out the insoles uh, more easily. It actually works. Uh, pretty helpful and not a gimmick, I would say. The padding inside reminds me of the Achilles cushion pods on the Harden Volume 6. Almost a memory foam type. Um, yeah, that's a good feature. And they are about average weight. With the missiles in, they are 425 grams. So around the same weight as shoes like the KD15. As to how these guys perform, the cushion setup feels awesome on feet. The midsole is responsive enough. Good heel compression. I would describe it as a very fluent core feel. You are low to the ground. Takeoffs and landings are both smooth and the shape of the silhouette is designed nicely to help with movements in different directions. Simply put, it's a really comfortable shoe that didn't cause any discomfort anywhere. Uh, the traction performance is also great. You can get to hard stops with no problems. The also is very squeaky and the rubber feels sticky, which is only a good thing in this aspect. Dust pickup is also not an issue. A really consistent grip on the floor. Now with the fit, I mentioned this earlier, very important that you should go down a full size in US sizing. Uh, for those that are more familiar with European sizing, I'm a 44.5 and these I wear a 43. Also, this is a shoe that will require some break-in time at first. It feels like there's more room in the forefoot than the midfoot area. So my first two to three times playing in them, the midfoot area felt a little bit tight, but over time, that tightness is now completely gone. So the sizing down isn't just because of the length. Width-wise, they're about average, and fit just like a normal pair of hoop shoes in your true size. If anything, you even get a bit more space in these compared to a lot of Nike shoes that fit narrow. Stability and support are fine, but to get a secure lockdown, I would recommend tying up the laces really tight. The upper materials are supportive, but they don't wrap around your feet like nice and close. Now finally, with these two drop-in missiles, I'll just be honest, they felt more so like, very similar. It's definitely not like the Wade 808 2, where the Ultra feels more cushiony than the regular, but the regular gives more space and better stepping comfort. I personally have been using the P Motive one. Uh, tai Chi is awesome. Uh, I always wear their Tai Chi slides, and it's basically the same texture on the bottom half. I just don't like this felt part in the forefoot much for the other one, and the way it rubs against my socks. 
The good thing is, if you were to get the Switch version, they come with both sets of these insoles. So you can just feel and compare for yourself based on your preference. Overall, I would say that the AW1 is a top tier performer. So if I was to throw them on a tier list, they would be an S tier shoe uh, with all the best out there. Excellent traction, good responsiveness, and a very smooth ride. I think peak basketball shoes are very underrated, and they always give me a genuine surprise in terms of comfort level. Let me know what you think about these first Andrew Wiggins signature shoes down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.